Convent Girls High School. My Convent Girls High School. I left my cushion cocoon several years ago to face the world armed with the courage of conviction, clarity of thought and honesty of intentions that this institution has provided me with. It's as though emotions of pain and pleasure attack me now as I remember the bittersweet memoirs of my yesteryears. The pleasure of having been here, the pain of having left. The bitter patter of tiny footsteps echo in my head now as I tread the path that I once took every morning. I cursed it then early mornings but a sigh escapes me now as i think of those blessed days convent girls high school is reputed to have created sophisticated cultured grounded respectful young women that are high achievers today as i look back I don't think I'd ever be the same person without the kind of lessons that discipline has taught me. To be responsible for my actions, to say I'm sorry, to behave in a cultured manner, and to understand the importance of truth. All our principals have been thorough disciplinarians, but essentially loving, kind-hearted women. It was their compassionate nature and strong sense of discipline that we once feared then respected and now revered uh, we are a society for the congregation of the franciscan hospitaller sisters of the immaculate conception we set foot in to in goa on goa we spread all over we are a portuguese congregation after setting in foot in goa we uh, came down to bombay and uh, we set up at mount mary park still today it stands as a central home um, the headquarters where um, or our superior head uh, lives and from there she does the administration of the entire society our main uh, goal is um, imparting education this is our uh, emblem um, and this uh, you will find it on our calendars on our letter head and uh, the emblem is the diamond shaped and it has certain significance like on top we have the five bones of jesus here we have the legendary star which signifies mary here is the lamp we are called to be the light and to uh, shine and to light up other lights and here we have the cross which is the cross of jesus there is a uh, inscription there lutere et pop Lutere is to teach, and Pob is to enlighten, to warm, to soothe, to comfort. And from here you will see what is our aim and goal in life. It was the vision of our founders who always looked after children, and uh, children are for uh, um, people who are uh, affected by the epidemic, and people who are uh, separated due to war, etc. Every single member of this institution, from the principal to the peon. has made me what i am today the respect we paid to every member of the family was constant irrespective of their position in the hierarchical order of the school our sister principal has the highest authority and the most important say in all the decision making processes followed by her is the vice principal a house mistress is appointed for guiding each house the teachers hold a very important position in the hierarchy as they ensure that the goals of the school are always upheld they impart knowledge and in doing so impact the students and lay the very foundations of their personality the pupils are given a lot of respect and the place they hold cannot be replaced by anyone sitting at the edge of the sprawling school grounds is the podium all our performances took place here all our special assemblies Flashes of memories appear before me as I look at this stage. A vast expanse is covered by this library, filled with books of all kinds, shapes and sizes. As part of our 10 standard syllabus, we were made to perform experiments, write our observations and understand them from the theoretical point of view. 
But nothing proved more fun than mixing colorful chemicals or looking at the seven colors of the rainbow combined into white. Ah, the hall! This place seemed so much bigger when I was a little girl. We would do anything to perform on this magnificent stage. Dance, drama, elocution, debates. I can still hear the loud cheers in the hall packed with students while we performed here. It was our very first tryst with confidence building. The little scabs on my knees are reminiscent of the hours we spent in the school ground. This ground holds my oldest memories of the school, my parting goodbyes with my mother and meeting my best friend. But what evokes most memories in me are these classrooms. Discipline, patience, honesty, respect, talent, apology, and so much more. With December would arrive the sports day event. Practices would start after the Diwali break with enthusiasm and gusto. The competitors would be ready. The four houses of the school, Ruby, Emerald, Sapphire and Topaz would vie for the top position. Our annual day was a unique blend of song, dance and drama. Conceptualized, produced and created by us and showcased before our parents. While the school displayed its myriad talents. The proud student body the Board of Honour. We being the Board of Honour have several duties to perform and responsibilities to handle. Since childhood we have been taught values which are inculcated by us to others. Being the head girl doesn't only mean looking after the discipline, it also means knowing one's priorities and accordingly taking all decisions fairly. It is of great honour to be the head of the student ward and assisting in the upliftment of our beloved school. Every morning we pray together. We have been doing this since our childhood, so it has become a habit. We are in the ninth standard and we, in our journey till now, have experienced that all our teachers are extremely friendly, very kind and encouraging towards us. We, as captains, have to encourage and pressurise students to blossom out in sports. To add to this, we also emphasize on punctuality so that in future our students have professional outlook to their work. We love our alma mater. Patriotism has always been given prime importance in our school. The national anthem and Vande Mataram are rendered every day to encourage the spirit of patriotism and national oneness. On Independence Day, scholarships are given to deserving students to boost their morals. Days ran into years and soon I felt more at home in these classrooms and corridors than I felt at my own house. And why wouldn't I be? So many memories and so many friends, I can still hear the sound of the recess bell and the excited shouts and squeals of my friends. And before we knew it, we were seniors in this institution where we grew from toddler to teen and soon from teens to adults. Our meanderings through life will always be informed by the lessons we learned at this school. We left the school, the teachers, the love and care, the cocoon and took our first steps stuttering and stumbling into the outside world, backed with everything the school gave us. Everything we gave the school. Everything we were and always will be. Enough.